Hi there, my name is Banke and I welcome you to my online IELTS online classes with Banke. I am a professional teacher and I help my students achieve their learning goals by breaking down hard concepts into simple, easy to understand learning points in a fun, simple, relaxed, and learner-engaged atmosphere. So if you plan on taking the IELTS general training examination, this course is for you. Today, I will be introducing you to the listening module of the IELTS general training. If you've never written this examination before, then this course will help you to understand the task you are about to face when you take your listening test. All right, so what is the IELTS listening module about? Now, this listening module is divided into four sections. There are four sections in the listening module of the general training. There are also four sections in the academic module too, in the listening module of the academic training. And basically, all test takers will take the same listening module. All right? All test takers will take the same listening module for general training and academic training the difference comes in the reading module and the task one part of the writing module so if you are in this class and you're planning on taking the IELTS um, academic training the same principle applies even for the listening module all right so there are four sections and each section consists of 10 questions each. Section one is a conversation between two people. Two people, all right? So two people will be having a conversation based on everyday social life, right? Section two is a monologue, okay? A monologue is when just one person is talking. So you will hear only some, only a, an individual talking. And under this section, you will have your multiple choice questions or your map or your matching of headings. So different types of questions can come under section two and we'll be looking at different types of questions that you'll be facing in the listening module as we go along so section three is a conversation between up to four people is a conversation between up to four people okay it's a conversation between up to four people and section four is also a monologue too because you have just an individual speaking all right and just as you have in section two okay so what are the various types of questions to expect you will expect to see matching headings or yeah you will expect to see matching heading question types where you will have a box with a list of um, topics, titles, headings, and you'll be expected to match the heading to the appropriate um, to the appropriate question as the speaker speaks in the audio you also have multiple choice questions you will have 
map or plan or diagram labeling you will have completion types of questions in the completion types you can expect to see form completion note completion table completion flowchart completion summary completion or sentence completion all these fall under the category of completion you will also see short answer question types and note that you will only hear the recording once the recording is going to be played just once so you are expected to draft down your answers as you listen so these are a few important tips i will give you when you are writing your listening module test you must take care to read instructions carefully read the instructions carefully each section will have its instructions so make sure that you read the instructions carefully so that you don't miss the answer or so that you don't do something that is not required of you for example if the question says you should write not more than two words not more than two words let's say two words the question says you should write not more than two words hmm? yeah if the the question the instruction says you should you don't write more than two words and you write more than two words then you'll be penalized you'll miss that answer okay also make sure to write correct spellings if you get the answer right but the spelling is not correct then you will you will get that answer wrong so your spellings must be correct mm -hmm. your spellings must be correct and the example i can readily give you is for example if you are to write for as in f-o-u-r okay you have to write f o u r all right and you write let's you're supposed to write f o u r and you write f o r you see this will be wrong this will be wrong all right this will be wrong and this will be right okay very good so also make sure not to write letters instead of numbers write letters instead of numbers when you are asked to write uh it all still boils down to what the instruction says so if the instruction says a a number and or a word yes you'll be safe to write a number just a number okay but if you do the opposite of what the instruction says even if you get the answer correctly you will be marked wrong because you have not followed the instruction so everything is still boiling down to reading the instructions carefully and making sure that you do exactly as you're told and um, lastly on the important tips is that you should write your answer as you listen to the tape do not fall for the temptation of ruminating over a missed answer if you miss the answer and you cannot readily recall what the answer is quickly move on to the next next question so that you don't miss that as well Mm -hmm. okay so now how do you get to convert your raw scores into the into your band score how do you convert your raw score into a band score 
so if you want to know what band score you will achieve from your raw score if you have been practicing alone or you are engaging the services of a private tutor then this table here shows you how to convert your raw scores into the band score so if you if you uh once you take the listening test and you score 39 or 40 then your band score is nine you have achieved a band score of nine for 39 to 40. you remember that in the reading module for you to get a nine you must score all 40 questions correctly but in the listening test if you score 39 you will still you will still get a band score of 9 and if you get 37 to 38 questions correctly your band score will be 8.5 and if you score 35 to 36 questions correctly your band score will be 8 and as it goes okay so now that you know what the listening test entails i will send in a couple of questions which you can take and you should listen to the tape once alone just take it once and let me know what you let me have your answers and then i will see if you have been able to do that well all right so i'll see you in the next video if you are yet to join my whatsapp classes where we have we hold the live class sessions and um, i will just you can just send me a private message so that i can add you to the whatsapp live classes okay so enjoy the rest of your day i'll see you in the next video